I, I think it would be a great thing to have these clinics put on by college pro high school coaches where they teach kids and tackle. I think by emphasizing the proper technique, starting with young kids, the technique of never using your head as a projectile, uh, never hitting with your head down, I think if we're able to keep emphasizing that, then I think we'll make a big difference. Uh, I'm not saying I would have gotten hurt or not. I'm just saying that if a lot of kids knew the proper way to tackle, then that would help prevent a lot more injuries. You've got these parents that are putting these players in your hands, their lives in your hands, their safety in your hands. They're relying on you to keep them safe. I love football. I love the sport. I love what it does for kids. I love what it does for my, my child. But I want to continue to play. You play safely, play correctly, and have fun at the end and everyone walk off that field. There's this fellow in California named Bobby Hosea who has all but given his life to teaching kids how to tackle more safely so that football can continue in much the same way it always has with kids getting hurt less often by keeping their head up and out of the tackle. See, I ain't never hit nobody with my head. I ain't putting my head in there. That's what you should teach your kid. Watch the head, keep that head up. That's what you're teaching. Eighty-five percent of all football-related brain injuries on every level of football competition happen in practice. These numbers need to be a wake-up call for us, not just to hear them, but to do something about it. All you got to do is look at the offensive line, for example. If you're a guard, you're going to read the front of the defensive front. You've got to step with a certain foot. You've got to engage the opponent in a certain part of his body. You've got to hit him with a certain part of your shoulder to get work up to the linebacker. That's very intricate detail, right? Where is tackling? Why doesn't tackling have that same sort of detailed approach? That's the part that everybody stays away from, but I've, I've focused on it primarily. Number one was to keep the kids safe. I didn't want to see a baby that couldn't get up. I want to have my eyes below the face mask of the ball carrier because the ball carrier acts first. And when I rip and shoot my arms, it's going to bring my hips forward, rock my head away, and I'm going to hit with my shoulders. We call it strike plate, shoulder tip to shoulder tip, just under your chin. He sounds like a drill sergeant. Don't drop your head. Barking out commands. Right foot and hold. Watch these two guys. Wings. Back toe. Sink. Lay them down. Explode those hips. Hit boom. Good. I don't want the head to go down. Reinforcing tackling techniques that could keep someone from getting seriously hurt. The way you tackle, which will keep you safe. Okay, there's no accidents. Brain injuries are not accidents. People get paralyzed in football. It's not an accident. Bobby Hosea is the founder and coach of Train Em Up Academy, a tackling camp that teaches kids a 12-step tackling method. The one-time UCLA defensive back who played professionally in Canada and the U.S. Football League created his tackling program back in 1997. In 2011, a study was done on his method. There was a scientific research study done on my tackling technique. It showed a 43% reduction in helmet first impact. That was 100% of the crown. That's where all the problems are. You take the crown out of the tackle, you take out a multitude of injuries.
Boom, right? So they got a little pin, a little ring. You gotta grab it. Grab them. A little booger finger. Boom, pull them out. And that's where the explosion comes from. Not just getting there hugging the guy. I'm tired of it. Stop it. You got it? Come on now. Let's go.